Today we're going to make some Barney sardine stew. As you know the story about our little friend Barney and his weight loss journey over the last five years, you know that he's lost over 40 pounds and the reason is we had to change his diet. So today I'm going to show you how we make one of his favorite stews. It's sardine stew because he needed more omega-3s in his diet. He also gets fresh vegetables and fruits in the diet and it's a great accompaniment to his canned food diet that he gets prescribed by his veterinarian. So the first thing we do is we use a seven quart crock pot or slow cooker and we put in some low sodium vegetable broth. That is always the first base of any yummy stew that we make for our pets is make sure that it's low sodium and preferably just a vegetable stock but not a not a protein. Next is three cups of organic brown rice. Followed by his favorite, peas and carrots, because he loves peas and carrots. We're gonna follow that with the sardines four cans of sardines. That gives him a lot of omega-3 rich fatty acids in his diet and you don't have to feed him fish oil. Followed by some yams, which is great fiber. A cup and a half of organic frozen blueberries more yummy good antioxidants for his diet and top it all off with a couple of handfuls of spinach and all that will cook down together and make a glorious stew so this seven quart pot will yield 48 cups we put this in a cupcake pans and then we freeze each section so each section is one meal for him and this pot will yield 48 sections so basically 48 meals or we give him this doggy stew twice a day so it's 24 days worth of food for about nine cents a serving after you add everything up so it's super affordable it's super healthy and it's a great uh, way to accompany his canned food diet that he gets he has to stay lean and mean since he was morbidly obese and uh, paralyzed and so we have to make sure that we maintain his carbs down at a low level so he gets lots of fruits and veggies and fresh sources of food like this mixed in with his canned diet that his doctor prescribes for him his veterinarian prescribes for him freeze it and then we pop out these wonderful little treats and it's delicious so this is what the little muffin tin sections will look like after they're frozen and we keep these in the freezer until it's ready to eat and then you just warm this up a little bit in the microwave mix it with his canned food and he gets fresh fruits and veggies and a delicious rice based, based stew and for the full and complete recipe, we'll have it listed in the description for this video. And if you like what we're doing here, please click on the subscribe button.